Hello everyone. Today I want to talk a little bit about rest. Um, yeah, there's a few different things that I'm going to talk about today and that's physical rest, taking care of yourself as a writer, as an author, as a creator. Um, and then there's also letting your manuscript rest. And here's, here's why. Okay, so first of all, Physical rest as a creator is far more important than I always like to think it is. Um, I personally push and push and push, and I have an incredible stamina and an incredible endurance um, and an ability to continue pushing through things even when things are busy or hard or ridiculous. I mean, I have written entire novels in 13 days, right? I have the ability to push really hard if necessary, which is an important thing because publishing is an either all or nothing thing. And if you're not ready when it comes to the all, you're not going to, you're going to have, a, you're going to struggle. Um, simply put, you're going to struggle. However, when it's a nothing thing, um, it's important to take a break. It's important to take a vacation. It's important to go a really long time without touching, about, without thinking, without doing anything related to your manuscript or your project. Um, because when you let yourself rest so you can come back to it with fresh eyes and fresh energy and fresh excitement, you actually are able to create something better than you would have been able to before. Um, but in the process of letting your manuscript sit and take some time and just be, you actually allow your brain to start puzzling through it in the deep processing sections. Um, you start thinking about not, I have to figure out this plot hole, but as you do something else, your brain is like, Let's think about that plot hole. And when your brain does that on its own, at least from in my case, I found that when my brain decides that it's time to do something, it actually comes up with something even better than I would have been able to consciously think of. Um, an example of this is last night when I was taking a shower. I had one of those epiphany moments that often come in the shower when you're a writer, and I realized what was going wrong in one of the books that I wrote three, four years ago. If you remember, um, there was a video where I was very excited. It was one of my very first videos. Um, I created a poster. I created this poster. That poster hung in the back of most of my videos throughout college as a way to track my progress as I was writing and rewriting and editing that book. When I started working on my series, I shelved that project um, because that was a rewrite and I knew where it was going anyway and I was kind of bored with it, so I shelved it for the time being and began working on my series. As you know, I wrote one book that will end up as like book six in the series um, after I go through and edit it and probably have to rewrite the whole thing anyway. Um, I wrote another book last July that is now the book that I'm going to start shopping around places soon. Uh, that's Cerberus. And then last September, or no, last, last November, I wrote book two, which is Argos. Um, and following suit, according to my old past patterns, I should have in July, this July right now, for Camp NaNoWriMo, I should be working on book three. I was going to be working on book three, that was the original plan, was to do it for Camp Nano and then go from there. However, um, as my brain started thinking through plot holes and problems and I wasn't quite happy with book two enough yet, like, I gave it to my critique group, but since none of them had started reading it yet, I was like, okay, good. Um, hold off on that, I have more edits I want to make still. And. In that process, I had to really, really think about the fact that I can slip into a phase of rushing my projects. 
I mean, I'm a binge writer. I write them all at once, right? I can easily slip into the phase of, I just need to finish it. I just need to finish it. I just need to finish it. But the fact of the matter is, book one is ready to start shopping. Book two may not even happen if book one doesn't happen, you know? So there is no rush with book two. Even more importantly, there is absolutely no rush with book three. The only reason that there's any rush with book three is if I lose interest and don't write it at all. Um, I don't think that'll happen. I think after a sufficient break, I'll have the energy to come back to it and do it again. I also think that if I can fix whatever my qualms are with book two, whatever is stopping me from feeling like it's ready, if I can figure out that, um, then we'll be off to a, a good start. Because after I can do that, my brain will be able to focus on book three, which I think is the important part of that. Um, I also need to just review my outlines and stuff again and see where I was originally thinking I would be going with this book. Because things shift and change a little bit, but I've been pretty good with these books about sticking to my outlines, which is why I have such loose outlines, because then I can actually stick to them. Anyway, all that to say, uh, last night while I was thinking in the shower, because everyone knows writers get their best ideas in the shower, I was thinking and thinking and thinking, and not about any of the things I usually would think about. Like, I wasn't thinking about my Pathfinder campaign, I wasn't thinking about the D&D &D campaign I'm playing in, I wasn't even thinking about my past books. I was thinking about the book that I made that poster for, and in the last five to ten minutes of my shower, I figured out what was going wrong with it and why it wasn't working and how to fix it, which is strange because I hadn't thought about that book in years. Literal years. Like, I wrote the first draft of that book in high school. Um, anyway, so I have the next project after my series, or possibly I have the next project in the middle of my series. Um, the plan is for it to be a standalone novel. It's usually the plan. Uh, if it shifts into a series, well, I guess we'll see what happens then. But. All that to say, I took all of my notes, I wrote it all down because I knew I was going to forget it if I didn't. Um, but yeah, rest is important. This is also why last week I allowed myself a day to actually get a video out that would be good, um, rather than sitting here rambling for no reason about nothing at all. Um, I needed the extra day to actually be able to come up with something even remotely possibly good. And I think having that extra day to rest really, really helped um, both me and my physical and emotional well-being, and also in my writing world. Um, as a creator, there's a lot of pressure all the time to put stuff out. Um, and that, I mean, that's why I've backed off. Like, I could be trying to write a short story every week, but they wouldn't be good. And I want to give you guys good content, which is why I write a short story every month. It's also why, if you've followed me for any duration of time, you've seen me fluctuate between one video a week to three videos a week to two videos a week. And I've kind of camped out at two videos a week right now. Um, but I'm playing with the idea of going back down to one, simply to give myself more time for resting and recovering and coping in this world we live in right now. Um, I'll let you know what I actually decide when I make a decision on that, but just throwing it out there, I might, I might be changing my posting schedule again. Um, yeah, Take care of yourself, get good rest, uh, allow your projects time to breathe. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye!